This video shows the main characteristics of the Embarcadero RAD Server Enterprise Mobility Service EMS Console Server. This EMS Console Server is a service that provides a web application which displays analytics from the EMS server. The EMS console accesses the EMS database server in read-only mode. The EMS console gives feedback on the API calls with statistics from the EMS server resources including users, groups, installations, modules, and its resources. And you can use the EMS console as a standalone application for testing purposes or set up the EMS console on a Microsoft IIS server for a production environment. And the EMS console offers analytics for the registered EMS users. And you can export and save the analytics data to a comma separated file, a .csv file in your system. The EMS console server gets statistics from the EMS server database. It comes with the resources from the administrative API by default, including users, groups, installations, push notifications, and edge modules. But the console will also show the new resources after you extend the EMS server with your own custom resources and custom endpoints. The EMS console server is a useful tool that can offer feedback from your client applications and you can use the analytics to control the API calls to the personalized resources on your EMS server. You can access the EMS console in a couple of ways. First, with your running EMS server, you can click on the open console button and this will bring up the EMS console for you or for a standalone application, we just need to enter its IP address and its port. And this will also bring up the EMS console for you. The first screen on the EMS console is the sign-in page. So on the sign-in page, we click on the login button. And here on the sign-in page, we fill in the console user's name and the console user's password. And starting with the Tokyo 10.2 release, the EMS server supports multi-tenancy mode. So if you are running the EMS server in multi-tenancy mode, then you also need to provide the name of the tenant, which data you want to use. And you also need to enter the tenant secret password of the tenant, which data you want to use. But in my case, I'm running the EMS server in single tenant mode so I do not need to enter the tenant name and I do not need to enter the tenant secret password. So by default, the system will use the information from the initial tenant of my RAD server. So when I log in, we see the tenant is the initial tenant. So I am logged into the EMS console as the initial tenant in single tenant mode. On login, you are on the main menu of the EMS console and from the main menu you can access all of the pages of the console home users groups installations edge module resources and analytics first the home page the home page is a summary of the console information that provides the key counters we see total users and this is the users with activity within the last 90 days and you can click on this field to redirect to the user analytics next let's look at the users page the users page shows the users table all the columns of the table are displayed by default and if you hover over the user id field you will see a list of ems groups the user belongs to get displayed Next, let's look at the groups page. So here, this page shows the groups table. So we have two groups on this EMS server, one group called managers and another group called employee. 
and if you click in a group name field then a new table displays the list of EMS users that belong to that group. So here currently we have no users that belong to the managers group and for the employee group also currently we have no users that belong to the employee group. Next let's look at the installations page. So this page shows the installations table. Now these are the devices that have connected to the EMS server. So currently we have no devices that have connected to the EMS server. So no records were found that match the specified search criteria. Next is the edge module page. And this page shows the modules table. Now an EMS module is an extension of the EMS server. And the EMS edge module can be included in a ThinkPoint application, which is a standalone application that can be called from the EMS server in response to a REST request from an EMS client application and that may include an EMS edge module. Next is the resources page. So this page shows the resources table and currently we do not have any edge module resources for this EMS server. Lastly we have the analytics summary page. So here we can select the analytic you want to display from the drop down menu. So for example looking at the total clients page the chart will display the information using either bars or lines. This total client page chart shows both total users and active users. The total users are the total number of users from the EMS database and the active users are the users that have connected to the EMS server API within the last 90 days. And then you can select the time basis to display the information, either daily, monthly, or yearly. Next we have the API calls page. And this chart shows the calls to the EMS server API. Now this information is displayed only using bars. And if you place your mouse on a bar, you get the number of different types of calls. And you can also select the time basis to display the information, either daily, monthly, or yearly. Next, we can look at the API Calls Endpoint page. This chart shows the calls to the EMS server API separated by type of call. And from the drop down menu, we can select a particular resource to display its statistics data. So, for example, looking at the users resource, we see how many times throughout the day the user's API endpoint has been called. And we can see this information daily, monthly, or yearly. The last set of analytics we can look at are user analytics. And this section shows the total number of EMS resource endpoints that a particular EMS user or group of EMS users call. So for example, looking at the user API calls, this chart shows the calls to the EMS resources by a particular EMS user. And you can either filter or select by a particular EMS user from the drop down menu that displays all of the EMS users from the EMS database. So looking at the nurse user, we see the calls made by the nurse user. And looking at the test one user, we see all of the calls made by user test one. And from the second resources drop down menu, you can select a particular resource to display its statistical data. So for example, if you want to know how many times user test one call the group API call, you can get that information on a daily basis, monthly basis, or yearly basis. 
And the last analytics we can get from our EMS console is users total calls. And this chart would show the total calls made to the EMS server API by an EMS user. And this information would be displayed using bars and each color would correspond to a particular EMS user. And if you place your mouse on a bar, you would get the number of different types of calls. So for example, if we want to look at user activity from user test one and nurse user, and then from the drop down menu, we could select a particular resource to display a statistical data. So for example, if we wanted to know about individual calls to the user's API for nurse user and user test one, we could get that information. And we can get that information on a daily basis, monthly basis, or yearly basis. And the EMS console allows us to use search filters to filter the information provided by the console using certain criteria. So for example, if we go back to the users page and we click on the show search box icon, here we can enter a valid JSON object to be used as a search query. So for example, if we only want to search on users whose name equals test1, we can place this valid JSON object in here, username test one and this will search for objects where the username is test one and we will get the user ID returned for username test one. Lastly the EMS portal lets you export the analytics data so if we once again look at the analytics data let's pick API calls here we see a button to export to a CSV file so you can export the analytics data displayed in the EMS console. So you can see the total amount of calls to the EMS resource endpoints retrieved from the EMS database post process this information. So let me click this export to CSV file button and we'll see what the data looks like. We see that the EMS data is saved to a .csv file and the format of this file is as follows depending on the chart that is displayed in that moment. So the columns correspond to the EMS resource endpoints or the EMS users and the rows correspond to the time used to display the information either in hours, days, or months. This ends what I wanted to show on this video for the EMS console. For additional resources please take a look at the doc wiki under the EMS console server for additional information on Embarcadero's RAD Server Enterprise Mobility Service EMS Console Server, and also look in the doc wiki under EMS Console UI for additional information on the EMS Console User Interface, and all of the EMS Console source code is available in your installation of RAD Studio, Delphi, and or C++ Builder under the directory of OBJ repros, en slash ems slash web resources.